Hey everybody, how you doing? I have a, a question for Jerry today about something simple. But first, welcome to the Jerry and Dr. Laura show, sponsored by the Auto Shop in beautiful Plano, Texas. <laughs> also, click the like button, subscribe. subscribe to the channel, and most of all, bring, bring us, us your, your cars. cars. <laughs> all right, okay. So here's a, here's a question. Why is it that a simple oil service costs so much more money than it used to? Oh, you want to talk about that? Well, yeah. Some, I mean, I had a car in the other day, it was over $200 just to change the oil. That was not the cabin filter, the, air, the, the engine air filter, just <coughs> change the oil. Well, it's really interesting that, that you bring that up. So let's talk about all of the, well, not all of, we'll just talk about some of the changes. In the old days, it was really simple to have a conventional oil change because it was four or maybe at the most five quarts of oil. And it was probably something like 10W40 oil or maybe 10W30 oil. And that was pretty simple. It was conventional and you could probably get oil changes done for $25, $30, all day long. Well today, let me tell you, the amount of different types of oil that we have to have in today's cars for what we have, here's an example. We used to be, like I said, you'd have 10W40, 10W30, or 20W50. Those were only three types of oil that you needed for just about every vehicle out on the road. Well today, we have <clears throat> all of those, plus we have uh, a new one is 0W20, and there's four different types of 0W20. You have an A, the oil is the same, it's the additives that are different. So you have Asian additives, you have Euro European additives, oh boy, you have really domestic, <laughs> domestic additives, and then you have turbo additives, and all of oh, those yeah, are different. Oh yeah, the turbo. Oh man, I like turbo, don't get me wrong. <laughs> and we, zoom, haven't zoom. Even, we haven't even talked about any of the other oils, and now cars today have as many as 12 quarts of oil in each oil change, yeah. right, plus the filter, so it's no longer a four quart. I mean, this is why yeah. it costs so much, and and you have to have synthetic oil. You can't just have conventional oil. It's it, Everything about an oil service today is completely different than it used and, to be. And then on top of that, well, underneath all that is, underneath the car is the, all the protective The Tupperware. Stuff, we call it the Tupperware. All the protective stuff, and it takes time to take all of that off. I mean, it used to be that you lift the car up, you undo the oil filter, it drains. No, you got to take the, all that stuff off even to, just to get to the oil filter. Mm -hmm. So there's added labor cost as well. There's body panels underneath the cars that help with aerodynamics and which help with fuel economy. The whole thing that's causing and all of this. And keep your engine this, clean. Yeah, the, all of this really is, is fuel economy. It's all being driven by fuel economy. Uh, or I just I just watched a, a, a lesson uh, earlier today. They were talking about engine oil. Uh, the new oils are uh, 0W16, 0, 0, 0W12, and 0W8. Wow. I, I mean, so, so just to give you an idea. Is that like for a race engine? No, it's a, it's a BMW. It's a, a Toyota. It's oh, Hondas. Wow. I mean, all of these cars are creating. And what does that do? It's the bigger the number, the thicker the oil, the viscosity or the thickness of the oil, right? The W, when you hear zero W, that means in the winter time, W stands for winter, not weight. It's, it means in the winter time, it has the characteristic of a zero grade oil, which is thin like water, all right? And when, it, when it's summertime, it will have a grade of 20, or in the new cases, 16, 12, or eight. And they're doing this, believe it or not, for fuel economy. It may get you an extra 200 feet per gallon of fuel, but when you multiply that times how many hundreds of thousands of vehicles, it, it makes a difference to the manufacturer because of their CAFE rating. Every manufacturer has a CAFE rating. It's corporate average fuel economy. And if they do not meet the government standards on this, they are fined millions and millions of dollars every year. And that is a topic for another time. So we're going to wrap it up right now. Schedule your appointment at 972-578-0588 or online at www.theautoshop.com. So we'll see you for your car's regular maintenance, oil service, and uh, what else? 
any other type of repairs. If you if car, car trouble, we fix everything. Awesome. Bye, everybody. See you See next, next time. time.